Hey guys, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video I will show you how I ranked the website in 14 days using Schema and AI. So, I started the 14th of November, and the average rank at the 14th of November was 22.74, and today, two weeks after, it's 19.65. So, if you stick around, I'll show you exactly how I did it. It's so I used a software platform schema called Schemawriter.ai, and Schemawriter.ai is my new software, and it produces automated entity optimized schema and content. So let me log in and let me show you how it works. My website, my target website, is a website in the construction niche, and it's it's driveways. So let's say I want to. So these are the keywords that it's ranking for. As you can see, it moved up for almost all of the keywords. You, we see green movements, no movements down. And the client didn't do anything to optimize this website. He didn't touch it. He didn't build other backlinks. He didn't do anything. I also didn't build backlinks. The only thing I did was insert schema and the content from schema writer that I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes or just right now, actually. Let's, for example, take this concrete flooring and then city name price, concrete concrete flooring city name price. So let's say here concrete, concrete flooring city name Dallas price. All right. So if I scroll down to page two, let me go down to page two, find someone I can use as a victim. So let's say. These guys here. Doot. Let's open here. I have no idea who they are. They could say, no, that's a brand. I want an actual business. Polished concrete flows in Dallas. Okay, let's take this guy here. All right. <clears throat> so let's say if I was going to optimize this web page for the keyword concrete flows in Texas, for example. I can see they are using Texas, and then they are writing Polish concrete flows in Dallas up here. So let's say they want to rank for Dallas. I would probably, if I was them, I would actually add the uh, word Dallas or the city name Dallas here in the H1. But that's of course up to them. They do have Dallas Texas here. What I would do is I would simply grab this URL. Doot. I would go over to Schema Writer, click Generate New, and put in the uh, target URL here, and then I would. Let's say they want to rank for polished concrete floors in Texas or Dallas. So let's say we are using this guy here. That's the keyword, polished concrete floors, Texas. I would select country, United States. And I didn't create a company for these guys because I just found them, but I could go over here to company information and just create a company. And then the local business schema would also be created. But let's jump, let's skip that step now. So I'm clicking generates. So now schema writer is generating my schema and my entities and my content. So what it's doing is it's now going out to search for this keyword in the United States and then it's grabbing the top 10 competitors and extracting the entities that they are they have in their contents. And it also it's also extracting the keywords in their contents. And then it's making a mathematical correlation. And then it's telling us you need these entities and you need these keywords in the schema and in the content. So let's let me go back to. Yeah, let me go while it's uh, thinking. So let me just go back because I'm using a software called Descript. So I don't know where the pause button is. So I'll just keep on. Typically, a report takes between one to two minutes to run. So yeah, what I can actually do is I can actually go into this report here that I made for SEO on my own website. This is what a report looks like. You can see here that it creates web page schema, it creates local business schema, it creates FAQ schema, and it creates product schema. Let's uh, go back to see if it is done. Now it's done, all right. So we have our finished report. Let's go in to see how it looks like. 
So you can see here that the attack, let me make it green. I like it better in green. So you can see here that the target URL is this guy here, and this is the keyword. And we have three tabs up here. We have schema, we have content, and we have entities. The reason for these three tabs, the reason that this is not only schema, but that it's also content is because we want to move this website up in positions. Right now it's, it, it's in page two, somewhere like 15, 14, 16, some, something like that. And we want to push it up. I know from my testing that it's not enough just to write a little bit of content, a little bit of schema, a little bit of entities. You need all three parts and you also need the ranking keywords that the other guys are using. That are keywords that are not entities, but they are related keywords to your search terms. You need a combination of all four. So that's why the reports look like this, that you have the schema part, the content and the entities part. So when it comes to the, the web page schema, what we are doing is we are reverse engineering the competitors. And if we go into the about and into the mentions section, you can actually see that, for example, floor is a recognized entity. And uh, this is from Wikipedia. And you can see that we, we, we make a relation between floor and then the Wikipedia page for floor, the Wikidata page, and the Google Knowledge Graph. So if you go to Google, see what this looks like. You can see that the, let me just delete these guys here. You can see that this is the knowledge panel in the Google search engine for the keyword or for the word floor. <clears throat> and entities or words that are recognized as entities by the Google search engine, of course, have a special meaning because it means that Google actually has this keyword flow actually has a special place in the database, the Google Knowledge Graph database for Google, because it's a recognized keyword as it relates to other keywords. And that's the whole point of having entities in your content is that Google recognizes flow because it recognizes the flow has a connection to a lot of other related keywords. Yeah, Google is a machine, so it needs these uh, relations in order to understand what's going on. And uh, so floor, cost, cost, the value of money that has been used to, up to produce something, cost is, it's only here because it's mentioned in the uh, content. So what I would do is I would simply remove this. And uh, metadata, I would remove this. Do, 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 do. Dallas, I would definitely keep this. Aesthetics, nah, not sure. Texas, I would keep that pricing polishing pricing i would i would move that to mentions because i'd like to keep the word pricing because also in my testing i've seen you can see here that i just for fun added the monitoring of these keywords i wasn't optimizing for the price keyword i was just i just monitored you know what happened and i also included pricing and as the entity for this website and it turned out that actually Perhaps this is because of the entity price or uh, what is it? Was it pricing or price? Price, yeah, it's a price and pricing. Perhaps because of these two entities were included, we saw the improvements of the price keywords. So I'm just, I'm not deleting these keywords. I'm just moving them to mentions. The special thing about the about section is that the about section is telling Google, what is this web page about? So I, of course, need to understand what is it about? It's about polished concrete floors. So it's about concrete. Yeah, concrete, okay, concrete. Renewable energy, I'll just remove that. Polishing, for sure, color. Diamond, I would remove that. Stain, no, I would remove that. Dye, what's that? Yeah, it's a, it's a, you have to judge, you have to look at these, you have to look at these entities and judge what does it mean? Is it related? The tool tells me something, the AI tells me something, do I agree? I'll probably remove this. I'm trying to aim for between five to 10 entities in the about section. And uh, the reason that I try to narrow it down and try to delete as many as possible, not to just add as many as possible is because I want Google to understand without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, what is this web page about? 
So if you just grab 10,000 entities and put into the about section, then and this web page is about everything. It won't work because Google will just be confused and you'll pollute your, you'll poison your entity universe for this web page with a lot of redundant uh, noise and just uh, seal hunting. <laughs> I don't know why. The hunting of seals. No, let's just remove that. <laughs> I just, yeah. Okay, so floor, flooring, epoxy, coating, I think it seems, I think I'll keep color because it seems related to polishing. So I'll just uh, keep that in the about section. I will not touch the mentions section because a lot of things are mentioned down here. And uh, keyword section. So all of these keywords are a special type of keywords called Yake keywords. And the reason that we include the Yake keywords is because they have a very strong correlation to positive rankings. I'm not saying it's a super duper ranking factor, but it is somehow related to ranking in a, in a way. So I'm just uh, keeping all of these keywords here. And uh, actually I wouldn't do anything else. This page that I'm optimizing is a service page. So I would probably not include the product scheme as you can see here when I'm doing like this, doot. Oh, you can't see it. Uh, okay, if I do like this, you can actually see the product schema down here. But if I click here, then the product schema is not included and I would probably not include it for service pages. You could do it, but if a Google mem or Google employee comes around and checks your web page, probably they wouldn't like it because it's against their guidelines. So do not do this for, do not include this for service pages. Product pages, of course, included service pages. Yeah, it's up to you. Of course, I don't decide over you. So FAQ schema. So the interesting thing about FAQ schema is that it's another way of adding extra context to the page. So we're using the OpenAI integration to generate all of this content. So you can see here this section, we will answer the most common questions to polish concrete floors and so on and so forth. So what are the benefits of polished concrete floors? Polished concrete floors in Texas, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. This is extremely good because if I go over to content, what I can see is I can simply grab this content here and copy and just insert it on the landing page. What I would do for this guy here is I would go down to the bottom somewhere. Where is it? So here is the bottom of this page. So I would simply go here. I would uh, grab this content, cop copy, log into his website and simply insert this content at the bottom of the page. That's what I would do with the content. When it comes to the schema code, I would uh, do this copy and then I would grab the code and put it into the header of this page. So the schema code goes into the header and the content, the entity optimized content goes into the footer. And so you get your, you're attacking the website from two angles or you're attacking the rankings for actually from three angles. So you're putting optimized schema into the web page. You are putting on optimized entity, uh, you're putting entities into the content. And you're also putting just more related words into the content because these questions here, they are, they are generated using open AI, but it's just not random content. It's content that are using the recognized entities from the about and mentions section up here in the web page schema. So all of the entities that you have here, <clears throat> they are, of course, they're related to the search term and the most, the most related entities we're trying to put those into the keywords or sorry, put into the questions and the answers here so that when you grab this content here, like this, just copy it into the web page. You're actually increasing the um, amount of entities, known entities, recognized entities into the content. And you are also increasing the amount of related keywords into the content. So even though if they did a decent job of doing SEO, these guys here, although I would, of course, I would at Dallas here up in the header. Even if they did do a decent job, I have no idea. I don't know them. Don't know how good or bad, is it, bad it is. It can always get better, always. Yeah, so that's what I would do when it comes to the entities. I wouldn't touch that because that's just 
is just for information right now anyway more to more to come in this section and when it comes to the local business schema of course i didn't add anything here because i didn't create a company it just takes too much time so i simply you know click like this doot, and then there's no local business schema so this schema file now contains of the web page schema and the the FAQ schema. So that's actually what I would use. And then I can download this here. Dude. And this is what it looks like. Or I could simply copy it like this. Now it's in the clipboard. And it just. Dude. Now it's in the clipboard and now it's copied into this uh, document. It's, it's the same thing. So it's uh, a little bit more than a hundred lines of schema. And uh, so you can see here, you can have, you have the entity description and same as all of that jazz. So that's what I did. And uh, what I did was I did it for, let's say, so these guys, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight pages, eight service pages. So I ran eight reports, one for each service page. In that case, it would be epoxy floor coatings, metallic epoxy designs, and so on and so forth, and then the URL. And then I pruned the entities, and then I inserted it into the website. And it took me around, probably around two hours. They had a WordPress, it's a WordPress website, so I had to install the plugin called Header Footer Code Manager. And, and yeah, so I installed the plugin and logged in and uh, inserted all of the schema in each of the pages and then i inserted the entity content also in each of the pages and then i just saved my work and logged out, logged out and it took around two hours something like that and the results are here so as you can see very good results i'm very pleased with the with these uh, ranking improvements and especially because it's a it's a city with half a million people that uh, are living in this city so it's I think it's a fairly good results for two hours of on-page SEO work. What I'm seeing is that if I'm optimizing this page, epoxy floor coatings, let's say I'm, I'm doing on-page SEO, I'm using Schema Writer to perform my on-page on SEO tricks for this epoxy floor coatings. I'm running a report for this page. This page sees ranking increase, improvements. If I am clicking on metallic epoxy designs, metallic epoxy floors here, and then I'm doing this, then this will also get uh, ranking improvements. So my point is you don't need to optimize uh, pages like contact us. You don't need to run reports for pages like, I don't know what this button does, but the uh, pages that you want to optimize, just insert the schema and insert the content and insert the yeah, what I just showed you and what I just told you, and uh, then you will see, hopefully, ranking improvements like I did anyway. So that has uh, been the overview of how I got ranking improvements for this guy here in two weeks. And I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.